You look nervous. You're right to be nervous. You are in a lot of trouble. My name is Detective Hauser. This is my colleague, Detective Laverne. Now, it's come to our attention that there have been some irregularities in your sleeping pattern. Now you know, as well as I do, anything above five hours per night is prohibited. Now you look even more nervous. Detective, can you uh, run my light, please? Okay, we're going to ask you a couple of questions and I'll ask you to surrender your PDU for scanning. This is non-negotiable. Thank you. It will be returned to you once our investigation is concluded. Now, while I am scanning and interrogating your PDU, my colleague here will run you through a series of rudimentary questions, and depending on the results of your PDU, could result in additional questioning. Are we clear? Good. Right, so I'm... Uh... Detective Laverne, my um, my colleague here can come off a bit serious, but uh, don't worry about that. I know this can be a scary experience, um, especially if it's your first time being interrogated, but there's really nothing to worry about if you haven't done anything wrong. And well, if you cooperate, it's it's going to be the best for you. So just know that we're not against you, um, even though it might seem that way. We just, we're just doing our job, basically. So I'm going to ask you some personal questions. And um, yeah, let's just start, okay? So what is your first name? Last name. Excuse me, detective. I'll ask you very quickly just to place your index finger on the sensor. Good. Now I need an audible yes. You grant us level two permission to your clearance files. Thank you. Apologies, detective. That's okay. What is your occupation? Okay. How long have you been doing that? Right. So, how many hours a day do you work? Right. From what time to what time? I just interject very quickly. Where were you based prior to this position? And that isn't consistent with what we have on your resume here. Would you like to think again? I it's see. really best for you to be honest with us. I see. It's a clerical error, isn't it? Apologies, detective, please continue. Right. So, what time would you get out of bed? Okay, that seems like a generous time to get ready for work, doesn't it? What, um, what do you do in the morning before you go to work? 
I would like to remind you at this point that this goes further than just you, okay? Now, as my Steam colleague has already mentioned, and I will reiterate, it is absolutely paramount. You are honest and transparent here. Now, what I mean when I say this goes further than just you, I don't want to have to start digging into your family's affairs. But don't think for one moment that we won't. If it transpires you're sleeping for longer than you're allowed to, there will be repercussions. But again, this will go easier if you're honest. Okay? Again, my colleague can seem very harsh sometimes, but uh, just know that he is also just doing his job, just like we all are supposed to. And um, I mean, wouldn't you agree that in a society where this law didn't exist, people wouldn't be as productive? So it's, it's really a good thing. It's in your best interest. So, we'll really go easier on you if you just speak the truth, cooperate, and we'll do our best to get you out of this with as little trouble as possible. If you give us just a moment, we've finalized the results of your PDU now, just in case you're unfamiliar with characteristics of the PDU, the personalized desktop unit is on your person, your body, at all times, as you know. Now what it's tracking, what you eat, how long you're working for, and how long you sleep. Now I'm sure you knew this, or maybe you didn't care, but if you give us a moment, I'd like to consult with my colleague on what I'm looking at on the screen. Okay. I don't know how much of our conversation you're able to hear. PDU results are somewhat inconclusive. It certainly appears that you are sleeping far longer than your 35 hours per week. In fact, I, was go, I would go as far as to say there is a suggestion that you've slept up to 70 hours a week, 10 hours per night. Could you, could you deny that? Could you confirm it for us? This isn't going to go easy for you. I need you to be honest and transparent. Is that clear? Okay. Look, if you want to get out of this, 
it's really better to work with us. If you know that you are innocent and something else is an explanation, then just tell us. What is it? This is your last chance, okay? What is it? Who is it? How is it that you were able to sleep for 70 hours in a single week? Regardless of the fact it's completely against the law, people are having to work extra to make up for your shortcomings. What is it that enables you to sleep so, so perfectly, so restoratively? Right, so this ASMR thing, can you explain to us a little bit? So our first question is, where is this being distributed? Where are you getting the ASMR? How are you consuming this content? Where's it coming from? Is it dealers? Is somebody dealing ASMR to you? Where's it coming from? Ephemeral rift? What's, what's an ephemeral rift? Right. So, is this one particular dealer you get your ASMR from? You have several. Okay, so ephemeral rift. He uh, he's creating this ASMR. Okay, and producing and distributing. And how, how much are you paying for this this ASMR? It's free. And what? Why? Why would he? distributes a free product. So he, he's, he's making money from this? I assume you are not alone in your consumption of this ASMR. No, I'd like to, to think you can appreciate the severity of the situation given that you're sleeping for twice as long as you're legally entitled to. Who else? Who else is, is creating and distributing this ASMR? And do they work together? Do you, do you see a, an ephemeral calm? Creative rift. This might be a laughing matter to you, but this is an issue of national security for us. 
any others? Do they have their own territories, their own dedicated clients? Zeitgeist. I've heard this name before. I think it's, uh, he was in the Dawson investigation. I'm sure they mentioned an ASMR Zeitgeist. Most people have it in this opening, though. ASMR video. Yeah. How about, um, a GB ASMR? Yeah, this is, this is the same thing. Okay. We really appreciate that you're giving us these answers and cooperating, and we'll definitely take that into consideration when uh, deciding on what to do with you. If this was to proceed to court, as my colleague has said, this will look very favorably. And you okay? We do appreciate your, your honesty and your transparency. Again, I understand this is difficult, and this ASMR is obviously very new and very important to you. But we do appreciate you being honest. Do you have any further questions? Do you know any other users personally? Right. I think we've had all that uh, is precise and clear now. There might be any further questions. I, I think that's. Uh... Don't make any plans to leave the country. You're not under arrest. We just need to further our investigation, and should you be required in the future. When they know you're still in the area. It's uh, it's really for your own good that you don't leave. It's it's gonna look bad if you do. We'll come find you. If you did. Okay, I think that concludes our initial investigation. I think so too. We're gonna have to look into ASMR more. Definitely. Thanks for your time.